This morning on The Dish, the big Texas cookbook. Texas Monthly Magazine has been putting out recipes for 50 years, but they've never done a cookbook until now. It's a combination of Western cowboy, Southern cuisine, Mexican, and a whole lot more, as we discovered with a trip to a truck before we tackled the table. Okay, we're making the sauce, the special sauce. Yeah, so this is called gel salt. It goes with just about everything. We even dip our crawfish cells in there too. You might not expect a Texas dish to begin in a Southeast Asian food truck, but Texas, it seems, is big enough to accommodate just about any palate. I mean, this is as fresh as fresh sauce this is gets, as right? As fresh as it gets. I'll let you finish it off. Okay. There. I'm sure you know. The Jiao Sum, spicy and sour sauce that Bob Somsmith pounds down to go with his award-winning ribeye steak skewers is just one of the many recipes featured in the Big Texas Cookbook. So this is a use-your-hand kind of food. Right. You wouldn't normally think you'd get ribeye out of a food truck. Right. <laughs> because, but ribeye, ribeye has always been a, sort of a special meat Occasion thing here, it's it's not really. not in Texas, <laughs> right? Yeah. Joining us at Sam Smith's truck, Pat Sharp and Courtney Bond, who've been writing about food at Texas Monthly for a combined 75 years, and are two of the driving forces behind the magazine's food coverage. The Big Texas Cookbook features everything from smoked turkey to jalapeno dove poppers to buttermilk fried chicken liver and caramelized onion po'boys, just to start. You say in the opening, Texas cooking is more eclectic and braided mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. people think. What does that mm -hmm. mean? It's just so much more vibrant and varied than I think people realize sometimes. You know, you say braided. I think I'm looking- I love that word, by the way. I, I know, I love that word, and I'm looking at those kolaches with Frito pie right. and corn chips on top. And I'm thinking that is, that's a braided recipe because that comes from the Czech tradition mm -hmm. and then also from the Mexican, Tex-Mex and fabulous junk food tradition. <laughs> and they're all braided together. The Texas Czech kolaches can be done with fruit or meat. That is fusion cuisine. Yes, absolutely. Now, some people don't like the word, a lot of people don't like the word fusion. Oh, they need to get over it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, is there, is there a better word? Up next was a chili dish, a Laotian spin on a classic Texas staple. What am I tasting in there that I'm like a little bit surprised at? That's really good. It's got some, there's some fish sauce. Mm -hmm. you is know, that some, maybe what mm -hmm. it is? Yeah. Ginger, lemon, wow. ginger and there's lemongrass. A, there's a lot going on there. There is a mm -hmm. lot going on. Mm -hmm. Fish sauce, lemongrass, cayenne pepper, and galangal, but not beans. I don't mean to step into dangerous territory, but w beans and chili. I knew you were gonna say beans. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Why does everybody bring that up? You were like, do not put beans in your chili in the book. Yeah, we think that tradition comes from the Competition. Mm -hmm. Chili competitions are a big thing in Texas. They used to be even bigger. And the rules really concentrate on the meat. In other words, they don't want any beans in there diluting the flavors. They just want to be able to judge the quality of the meat. Mm -hmm. Beans were a distraction, you know. Yes. They were considered filler. We then moved to enchiladas, replacing the spoon with a fork. All right, I'm gonna eat it with a big fork. Is that okay? <laughs> I think you should. Listen, it's big Texas. You'd I got be a big, crazy not I got a to. big damn fork. <laughs> Everything is bigger in Texas. There you go. All right, you're going to give me a real fork. Okay. I do like this fork, though. It'd be more fun. I want this it's, on all dish segments it's, from it's now much, on. It's much more fun with it's that fork. It's much more fun with the big fork, but yeah. go ahead. <laughs> now, that's very healthy, too. It's hearty <laughs> and excellent. <laughs> the tortilla is yeah. incredible, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. For a long time, we've like suffered through commodity-style tortillas, mm -hmm. you know, ma mass-manufactured. And when you actually have one, now it's becoming the norm for taco joints to make their own tortillas, and that's a, that's a big deal. Mm -hmm. And it and it does make all the difference. For desserts, there was a Texas sheet cake, a recipe from Courtney Bond's grandmother, featuring 
pecans. We didn't talk about pecans, but they also play a big role in yeah. the book. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, they're everywhere. Yeah, it's uh, the pecan is our state tree. It, the nut is our state nut. We love them in pralines. We love them in pecan pie, of course. We've got what at least three recipes in the cookbook yeah. that involve pecans. Mm -hmm. The drink, a Mexican martini with Anejo tequila, lime juice, and orange liqueur. Feel free to bookmark these recipes now, because if you check back in a few years, all the new influences will likely mean the Big Texas Cookbook will have even more big changes. Cheers. Okay. Thank to, you. To right. the Mexican martini. To Big Texas. <laughs> to Big Texas. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Big Texas Jeffrey cookbook. Todd. Yeah, to, nice. To, uh, to big Texas mm. here. It was so much that, I tell you, those enchiladas, that's maybe oh. the best tortillas <clears throat> I ever had. That all I am so always good. in search of the best enchilada. I, I just, they're awesome. They're my favorite food. I mean, just look at some yeah, of the. Everything looked so I, I have, good. I have copies of the big Texas good. cookbook for you guys, but check out some of these. <laughs> oh look my at this. God, look at the little Look at that pigs. blackberry cobbler <laughs> with the pigs here. So much um, of that looked amazing. It really did. They got a chicken fried steak gravy recipe that I think I want to make later wow. tonight. Wow. Uh, I have. So, a, we had a great Nicole, idea. Nicole, I hope you heard that. Jeff's cooking later. Yeah, right. I love it. Just said it.